I have a couple suggestions for doing eyeballs in the eyes. So one thing you could do is take a well-wedged piece of clay and do a little pinch pot. So I'm not gonna need much clay at all for this. Itty bitty baby piece of clay. And stick my thumb in, pinch. As it cracks, I'm smoothing the cracks so they don't get too bad. a little dome of an eyeball. I don't need the whole eyeball, like a, a sphere, an actual ball. I just need the dome because when it goes in the socket, it's going to do that. So if I'm going to attach it here, I want what I've done here. I want a big old hole in the back of that so it doesn't trap air, right? Because if this is enclosed, like my hand here, and you put that on there, we've got trapped air that can blow up. So I'm gonna make it a little smaller even. Okay. Now here's a way to kind of smooth your clay. Um, I need a clean knife or spoon or stick or something, and I just pat like this. I could do that here too. I got a lumpy forehead that I can paddle it away. Um, these sticks work really well for that. They're just painting stir sticks, right? And you can remove a lot of lumps. I want this nice and even before I add it in. Okay, and if I'm smart, I will make a second one. Um, to match the first one. But for this, I'm gonna show you a second way to do it. If you aren't that great at pinch pots, take a little ball of clay, so a uh, ball of clay, ball of paper, and this is just like you originally made your eyeball. You may even have them still left over. And wrap your clay. This would probably be easier if I had it setting down on the table like this. All right, form it over it. And then just like the mask, cut out a little extra. All right, you can see that there. You can fold it over. You don't want to completely enclose the newspaper in the clay. Just folding over the edge, just like you did the back of the mask. That. And then I can get rid of the newspaper and I have my eyeball there. And this one obviously turned out sizably. Um, bigger than that one. I think this is probably more appropriate. I'm going to leave that one there just for comparison. And then what do I do to attach them? Yep. Add some water. Scratch and work the water in, making your slip. Here too, right where it's going to get attached. And then that hole... The hole there that's cut through is going to be fine to let the air escape here. Now remember that this also is going to get eyelids. So you don't even have to like really attach this. I'll show you how to do eyelids. So I like to make a coil that is thinner at both ends like that. And then thinner at both ends and then I flatten it out like this see how it makes kind of a like a crescent moon and you can see that it is not thick that way it's only thick this way and so that is going to be my upper eyelid and then I can do one that's a bit smaller for my bottom eyelid so thinner at the two edges like that, it's gonna reach. Is the top and the bottom eyelid, of course, um, touch each other in the middles and then squish it this way. So I've got it thin like that, All right? Crescent moon, smaller than the first one. And then form it to the eye, right? And then of course, you know, it doesn't, it's one piece of skin that stretches over it, so you would have to smooth it together 
but that's your basic way to go ahead and make it look like an eyeball enclosed in eyelids.